So in this video, I want to answer the question of whether dropshipping is a good time to start now slash e-commerce in general. It's the most popular question I get asked probably a dozen times every single day. So I put together this very quick presentation just to address the three biggest concerns that people seem to be having at the moment. Number one then is that people you've seen everywhere, people are saying people aren't buying, people aren't spending their money, they're stockpiling their money because they're too unsure, too fearful of what the future holds. Now, this is true to some degree, as it says there, e-commerce as a whole, has been hit hard, very hard, but it would be absolutely and completely false to say that all industries are down. What this means then that if we're going to succeed during a time like this, what we have to do is adapt by changing the products in which we're selling. Give you a few examples then of how this is true. I've got some screenshots up here on the right. Um, this is different Google trend data for different search terms. The top one is online gifts. It might be a bit difficult to see if you're watching this on a mobile device, but basically during this current time, so April time, then the search for online gifts um, has been more popular than it ever has been in an April for the past 14 years. If you go onto UK sites like Moonpig um, or Thoughtful.com, a lot of them aren't taking orders for cards and online gifts because they simply just can't keep up with the demands. Number two is the home workout niche. I've featured this in previous videos, but it just continues to spike in popularity as gyms are closed and people are staying at home. Um, one thing that a lot of people are doing, including my girlfriend who never had an interest in working out whatsoever um, she is now doing online things at home in our living room the third and final one then is things to do at home this bottom one here which you can see again if you look at the spike in popularity it just continues and continues to grow and spike more and more people it makes sense being quarantined and locked down at home they're looking for things to do so that should spark some ideas um, of different products you can sell to satisfy that demand despite the current climate then I just want to share with you this screenshot that I took from datafeedwatch.com I've been doing a ton of reading and research into the current situation because the better understanding you have of what is going on or what is going to happen and the better you can adapt and plan for things but to summarize this one basically the US government um, is estimating that online sales will actually increase in this quarter over Q4 of 2019. Because people are locked down, shut down at home, they're not supposed to go out and do their shopping, then obviously people are resorting and turning to shopping online. And just so you haven't just got to take my word for it, here's a couple of screenshots um, from a couple of members of the Ecom Academy. Um, and you can see the kind of results that they're able to achieve during these current times. So that is point number one then. Moving on to point number two, which is a biggie, which is that people are saying that China slash shipping in general is impossible. Trying to get your items shipped to the UK to the US on time um, just isn't happening um, and it's the deciding factor of why you shouldn't be doing drop shipping which is completely false in my opinion yes shipping is affected but at the end of the day it's still operational so there's still opportunities to be had um, and as it says there you just have to adapt if we take a look at this blue screenshot on the left then it's from a friend of mine um, that I had a call with many weeks ago um, and he sent me this because he's been using a shipping method called YDH he works with an agent um, now to tell the truth I'm yet to find a supplier on AliExpress that offer this to me but perhaps it's something you could ask your supplier about because it is going to be a case-by-case -case basis you can see then all of these are March deliveries to the UK um, and he's been able to average six to nine days which is pretty crazy during March during the peak of the pandemic just goes to show that there are ways of still operating to some normality during these times what I've been using myself then is a service called Special Line YW, um, YW standing for Yang Wen, which is the company that offers it. And as you can see, the time they quote is actually faster than ePacket to what I've seen so far is more or less unaffected until it actually reaches the UK. And even then we're only talking a couple of days in the hands of Royal Mail. The second source I wanna share with you guys is this screenshot from Honest Fulfillment, their Facebook page. If you don't follow these guys, make sure you head over there now, pause the video, like their page because they post regular updates and they're speaking directly to these companies too so kind of to summarize this screenshot then they're talking about a delivery company called young express a delivery method sorry that typically you'll find most suppliers actually offering this on aliexpress to the us so if you are drop shipping there um, you can expect two business days now this is directly from the shipping courier so it may be a bit unbiased it may be a bit longer than that but still two days is not much to worry about and then for the uk they don't really give a specific answer um but basically what they're saying is they there could be some delays now from my personal experience doing uk to uk with the royal mail then 
is probably maybe one or two in 10 parcels arrive a day or two late at max. So really nothing to worry about in my opinion, as he says there, as this page says there, my postman still comes to me every day. Mine does too, so at the moment, um, then all is good there to be honest. A couple of days here or there isn't going to matter much. Just make sure you stay in contact with your customers, explain the situation, the whole world knows what the situation is. Um, I'm sure the majority of your customers will be willing to wait um, an extra couple of days as well. Takeaways then from this page, number one have a positive attitude at all times look for solutions not problems there's too many people spreading negativity out there um, at the end of the day if you have a positive mindset and positive outlook you're going to find ways to capitalize rather than just um, be negative about the problem essentially number two speak to individual suppliers it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis china is absolutely huge what's going on in the east is going to be different to what's going on in the west south north etc um, in terms of the delivery methods you should be asking them about ask them about Yun Express, Special Line, and SF Express. And then finally, just make sure you place test orders from each supplier with using the different shipping methods, which should cost you like £30 max, depending on obviously what the product is. Again, I've seen it many times, people saying that suppliers lie, which can be true, but at the end of the day, if you have a good, honest relationship with a supplier, there's no reason why they shouldn't be upfront with you. Moving on to the third and final point then is marketing opportunities. Those businesses that are affected during the current times that are shutting down, um, having a reduction in business and therefore having to reduce their costs they're no longer advertising online and this makes the online advertising space less competitive and therefore cheaper so for example then just to name one Facebook ads obviously being a bidding platform so think of it as like um, eBay but for impressions the less people bidding for a product so the impressions then the cheaper they become and what that translates into then is cheaper CPMs here's a screenshot from some different ad sets for my accounts ultimately they are all conversion ad sets Sets, a mixture of add to cut and purchase but you can see the average CPM I'm achieving at the moment is about five pounds and fifty pence now typically it'd be about double this maybe a bit less so maybe kind of eight to ten pounds um, on average so at the moment you're probably operating at about 20 to 30 percent cheaper than what it was um, say three months ago just to wrap the video up then if you guys have any questions or concerns about anything whatsoever uh, make sure you get in touch leave a comment down below I respond to every single comment so if there is something you want to ask me I will get back to you um, and to finish on this then there really are some huge opportunities to be had um, I honestly wouldn't be saying that if I didn't believe it wasn't the truth but you have to do these three things then. I'm gonna call it the golden combination, which is number one is you have to be selling a product that's currently in demand. There are certain products, certain ranges, certain niches that are just completely dead because people are spending their monies on different things. Um, at the moment, there's no kind of secret to that. It's a fact, I'm not gonna deny that. Secondly, you need a reliable source. Obviously you need a product that you can source, whether it's from China, from the UK, from the US, it doesn't matter, it just has to be reliable. And then point three is social media marketing. There's opportunities to be had here cheaper cpms than i've probably seen for at least the last couple of years so as long as you do all three of these things correctly um, then you run to something really good and that being said then thank you very much for watching uh, make sure you stay safe stay at home make use of the time wisely um, if you are looking into a course or program to help you start your business then please do check out my ecom academy you can see on the screen now the kind of things that you'll get access to plus there is a ton more um, so if you do download this keynote make sure you head across there will be a link in the video description as well and you'll see all the different testimonials all the different content um, and support groups that you will get access to so thanks again for watching and see you in the next one